Hello, my name is Raymond, and welcome to another Project Feline devlog, documenting the development of my anime-styled parkour game. In this episode, I have some small updates that I'd like to share with you guys. I've spent the past few days jamming these out, and I thought I'd just put them out there, see what people thought. Just recently, I've released a brand new map, the Interchange, which is like a train station semi-open area. And it's sort of more about exploration. And I was trying this sort of semi-open route uh, with the project to see where if that would feel nice or if it would play well. I've released it and a lot of people have been giving me very good feedback on it. And I really appreciate everyone who's been leaving comments. I, I really appreciate it a lot. All of this is very helpful for me. And um, I've been reading through the comments on this from my last video, trying to decipher what the general consensus is and what people think. And the comment I keep getting a lot is that I should do both semi-open sort of style and a linear Sonic the Hedgehog sort of style, which I'd been doing previously. And um, well, as a one man team, you know, it's, I think it's a little overwhelming for me to consider doing both styles. So I've been trying to come up with some sort of solution that would be realistic for me to do as one person. And uh, I mean, I appreciate that people enjoy both, but I've been trying to figure out what exactly it is about the linear levels people like and the open levels that people like. Um, and I've been trying to combine them into just one mode that hopefully suits sort of both areas pretty well. And I, that's what I've managed to try and do uh, over the past few days. So I've created a new mode called race mode and um, it's in the same map, but instead of having collectibles, the goal instead is to race through the map as quickly as possible while collecting these checkpoints. So as you collect each checkpoint, a new one will spawn on the map and you have to try and get to each one as fast as possible with your parkour skills like wall running and grinding and um, try and just see how fast you can do it. So that's, that's what I've been coding for the past several days. It was actually quite easy to set up. Um, didn't take too long to develop, so it was pretty fun to work on. And I thought I'd just, you know, Put it out in a small update and see what people thought. And um, yeah, just see, see how it goes. So as you can see, I'm playing through here, trying to collect all of these checkpoints. I'm gonna try and speed run through this. So it's sort of like doing one bid circuit around this interchange map, rather than like meandering about trying to collect things. And I thought it'd just be a fun idea to just try out and uh, see where it goes. So if I go up here, there's another checkpoint and then there's the finish line. And if I cross it, you can see I did that in about a minute, six seconds. So if you guys can beat that, uh, let me know down in my Discord server or in the comments. I'd be interested to see uh, how fast people can get through this. And yeah, that's that's the new race mode. Uh, and that's in the new build of the game I've released, link down in the description, it's completely free. Um, although I do take donations. So if you do wanna like help support the game a bit, you can leave like a little donation down there if you want. I really do appreciate it a lot. Um, but that's not all, I've made a few other changes as well. As you can see, the main menu is a little different. I've kind of decluttered it a little and made the layout a bit better. And if you go to the play menu, that new mode is available from the level select screen. So we've got the explore mode from the, from the last video I did and race mode, which is, is what I just showed you. Um, I have made a few changes to the explore mode or scenario mode. And um, based on feedback from the comments, a lot of people were saying that there were too many collectibles to collect and there was not enough time because there was like a five minute time window. So I've completely removed the time limit. Instead of a time limit, there's now just a stopwatch in the corner that just keeps track of how long you've been there. So if speed running's your sort of thing, that might be valuable to have um, if you want to try and get through this really quick. Uh, I've also halved the amount of collectibles that are required in the scene. So instead of uh, 120 credits, there's now maybe about 60 to collect in total. So, cause there was a scenario where, you know, people would be on like 119 collectibles out of 120 and they would be trying desperately to find that last collectible and backtracking all over the place. And it was a bit punishing, I think. So I've, I've made some improvements to that and I've reduced the amount. So hopefully it's a bit easier to, to finish. Um, and you can sort of, once you've collected them all, you know, you can just explore around if you want, uh, cause there's no time limit. So you can just have a walk around and just see what's out here. Um, but yeah, so those are the main changes I've made to this next build. This is now in a in build 0.9.3. And again, link down in the description, give it a shot. Um, I really appreciate people playtesting it and giving me feedback. Really helps me towards making the best game I can. 
So there we have those changes to scenario mode and collectible mode. It's a small little update, available linked in the description. If you'd like to continue following the development of this game, make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel and you can see all the updates as they happen. And if you want to see what I do next, because my next major milestone is going to be turning a level like this into actual geometry and putting models and textures in, and it's going to be a long process, I think, but I'm going to be streaming it live on Twitch. So if you want to see that happen live as I do it and sort of hear my thoughts on development, head over to my Twitch channel linked in the description. I also want to give a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who help me produce these videos. All the support really helps and really means a lot to me. So if you'd like to show your support and help me keep putting these videos out, head over to my Patreon linked in the description and get your name in the credits. Also, if you want to see more frequent updates from me in between videos, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I post screenshots and GIFs there from time to time. That's going to be all for now. Thank you so much for following my development journey, and I hope to see you all soon in the next one.